I think, um, for once, I'm realising it's a bit of hard work. Eh? It's been for me. It's been a pretty committed year. Um, I haven't been working and got a family and sort of put everything on the line. So uh, I've sort of been swimming a lot and uh, putting a lot into my training. So I think it's I think it's paying off. But it's, it's it's definitely paying off. As I said, I've seen you go from from strength to strength over this. But you do come and be involved with the, this event and, uh, and the Rapper Set events. I mean, now you're, you're top five in the world. It's, it's great that you still come in, come in these events such as this in Augusta. Yeah, mate, I mean, I love these events. I think Rapper Descent does a fantastic job. Um, you know, the turnout at these events and the people who come to them are all fantastic people. And, uh, oh, I mean, I'll keep coming as long as I can. And uh, how, how did you enjoy the day? Obviously, for better or worse, you've got the worst conditions on the on the paddle and the swim because it's just got better and better uh, for the guys. But uh, how, how was the paddle out there once you got out there, out on, on the ocean with the boat? Um, yeah, no, it was good. It was really enjoyable actually, so to get in through that. Um, breakwater wasn't too bad. Um, it was pretty straight on, and then riding the wash out the back, it was it was a challenge. Um, you know, it's not easy, but uh, it's not dangerous at the same time. You know, if you fall out, you can climb back in, or you get washed into the beach. It's no big issue, so uh, I really enjoyed it, um, and I think you know, a bit of bit of bad luck for maybe Dougal and Jared and those guys who are paddling really strong right now. Um, obviously, with Xterra, I haven't paddled for a long time, so I have to say uh, I wasn't I wasn't too sad that the course was uh, shorter or the paddle course was shorter, and uh, the swim course was just as long, so it was good for me. Right, so what's next now? What sort of what's your next focus? So obviously, you had Xterra, now you've uh, you've got this event. Uh, what's next on the horizon? Um, yeah, it's, it doesn't really stop. <laughs> I had a couple of weeks um, at home and then I head to Tasmania for that Mark Weaver challenge, this Mark Weaver challenge. Um, and then I got a couple of half Ironmans over Christmas, um, New Year's, and then uh, my main focus will be again coast to coast. Perfect, mate. Let's put your hands together for the 2013 Australian Bank, along with the Adventure Festival, Mr. Right. Congratulations. Fantastic first place in the uh, the females in 2013. Great to be wearing the museum colours as well because you are asking to call up, yes? Yeah, yeah. Two weeks ago, coming up here. Well done, guys. Awesome. So, um, obviously, you're wanting to start a lot of adventure. Is adventure racing sitting in the background or is it sort of come from trying to sleep? Yes, more adventure racing, but today was my first ocean paddle ever. And um, yeah, first surf ski, so that was pretty good. Just, um, so yeah, I was just happy to live really. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. So uh, you obviously did well. I mean, it was nice and nice and easy through the uh, through the river, but it got a bit rough, didn't it, when you got into the boat? Yeah, I just sang happy songs to myself, and uh, when I got to the gate, I didn't really want to turn around because I didn't want the waves side on. So I thought about just going out in the ocean, but you know, uh, hopefully turning around was a good idea. Got it in one piece. So. Fantastic. It is a fantastic result. So what's next here with, with competition? Obviously, with a win like this, it's going to give you a lot of confidence. Um, I'm actually tomorrow flying to Brazil. I've got a race next Saturday for Rockingham. Uh, yes, yeah, so the race is a little bit sick. Okay, perfect.